Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Brandy. Um, we're we here to speak out truth. Um, today, I wanted to come on here real quick and record before I get in the tub and do my meditation um, day. Um, but I wanted to come on here and talk about my beginning um, journey into this spiritual path I'm on, um, of course, this is going to be a series of videos that I'm going to break up, um, into a couple minutes here and there for time saving purposes. So, <clears throat> here we go. I've been drinking, um, apple cider vinegar, um, honey, um, Mixed with, let's see, ginger, honey, crystals, and ginger pieces, like raw ginger pieces and like um, raw herbs. I forgot what herbs they are. But right now, um, because I ran out of herbs, it's like I'm just using this and that, what I have in the house, apple cider vinegar and honey, um, to combat this whatever they got going on. I ain't even gonna get into that. But this video is about, let me fix my camera a little bit. <clears throat> this is gonna be talking about my beginning of spiritual path, spirituality, um, part uno. No, that's two. Oh, no. <laughs> um, so, I want to start with 2017. So, um, 2017, um, I had one, someone very close to me, my youngest son, father, he passed away June 4th, um, 2017. And that, um... I still, I mean, I always question, um, like, religion and stuff like that. So, I, I didn't even really, um, I never believed in it. So, it wasn't like, um, it was hard for me to transition or anything like that. It was just, he died. I didn't go to the funeral. And, um, I basically got in contact with, um, after some purging and, um, going through self blaming myself um for the whole situation and how he passed away and um the whole series of events of how all of that played out and how it went down and so on and so forth. Um so I I joined like um a spiritual um I guess you wanna say witchy witches group of the DMV, I joined the, the group. Um, I was put onto that group by um, someone that was very close to me. I reached out to her some way, somehow through the communication. She put me on. She was like, "Okay, join this group that I'm in, and you know we're into this and that, and you might be interested." And I was like, "Okay," like, <laughs> um, <clears throat> and it was a group. At that time, the group was new, and um. You know, it was new to me, like, rituals and spiritual stuff and, like, tarot. I mean, I always heard about that stuff, but, of course, I'm coming off of um, what I was taught, which is it's evil, it's bad, whatever, whatever. I ain't never really believe it anyway because I seen a psychic, like, back in 2005. <laughs> so, I ain't never, I always been curious about mediums and psychics and I always felt like I was um, part, a little bit psychic, it would be things that would happen to me as a child that I would predict or um, things that would happen that I guess I spoke into existence. So, you know, um, I could find my way through things um, with my eyes closed. I didn't need any um, guidance or anything. But anyway, um, 2017. So, um, that eclipse was August that year. He died June. So a friend of mine, I wanted to go see the eclipse. I just wanted to connect, like connect to, you know, I always love the sky. I always love the moon, even though, you know, there's 
people, you know, there's theories saying that it's not real. I don't really care, whatever. That I always been into the sky. I don't care if it's not real. Um, I always been into the moon and the clouds and the stars. Hence this constellation of Orion on my chest. I always been into the moon and the stars and the sky and so on and so forth. Um, so I wanted to see the eclipse and it wasn't going to be in totality here. So it was going to be, um, I, I had my friend, me and my kids, we drove down to South Carolina where it was going to be in its totality. And I was like super excited. I did so much research on the weather and what it was going to be to pin down the exact town that this eclipse was going to be in. Cause I was like super pumped to see this shit. So, um, get down there. The trip down was great. Everything was fine. You know, um, <clears throat> sightseeing, stopped in different states, took off from work. Everything was cool. Right? It was great. And then um, on the way back up, well, no, let me say this. On the way down, um, I took my crystals because I was started getting into crystals and learning about crystal healing and charging the crystals under the moonlight. So I was just like, oh my God, this is going to be super pumped. Like my charge is going to, my crystals are going to be super charged. Because they have all of this um, energy from this total eclipse that was, you know, ugh, you know, it was a mess. <laughs> so, um, on my way down there, I um, was kind of getting, like, irritated, um... A little bit. It rotated. The weather started to change as we started getting to South Carolina. And it didn't seem like it was going to work out in my favor. So, fast forward. Eclipse was barely there. Um, I still had an attitude. I was tired. And because I'm an insomnia, I have to take pills to sleep. I just took a bunch of pills on the ride back up and fell asleep. Got into an accident. The driver crashed the truck. Got into an accident. My head went into the passenger side window. Shaved off two inches of my hairline, which is growing back a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry if I keep clearing my throat. I just I really don't want nothing to like make me sick. So anyway, I um so twenty seven uh, um so accident boom. So, I remember snapping up out the accident, waking up, and um, I'm like, look back, check to see if my kids were good. They were good. I was happy. They were good. But I felt bleak and come around my face. Um, so, all I remember is really telling the cops, like, I don't want to die, or the paramedic, whoever it was, like, I don't want to die, I don't want to die. And this is coming from a history of, like, I am one of those people who would just be, like, ready to leave this realm at any given thing. Disappointment, heartbreak, I don't care. I'm like, Phew. I'm going to be up out of here. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this shit no more because I've already dealt with so much. So, now it's just, like, I remember as a kid, probably like a teenager, like, 11, 12, 13, wanting to be dead. So I've been wanting to be dead for a long time. And the universe is just like, no, 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 no. We're well, going to get you right. So anyway, so all I remember saying is I'm going to die. I'm going to die. And the cop's like, no, you're not going to die. So um, from June 2017 to August 2017, because um, I really didn't wake up into spirituality like that. After the accident, I was still filled with a bunch of hate toxic energy hate um i found out things after he died that i didn't know about so i just was filled with so much rage and hate and um thoughts of suicide and just really wanted to just like i said i just wanted to be done because i'm like what else what else could the freaking world throw at me am i uh, strong enough to I'm not in that it's hard for me to recall those type of feelings because I've elevated so much now um but um it's like damn the universe keep beating me up or the world keep beating me up or I'm allowing myself to get beat up whatever the circumstances is it was just enough is enough I'm done 
I think after that point, um, and I had an awakening. And um, I started watching Gaia um, after he died and during all of that time I'm watching this. And Gaia provides programs for people to heal. I'm talking about if you want to heal from past trauma, suicides, how to meditate, how to connect with yourself. And through them, I started accessing the pendulum. So I linked onto a, a, a video um, that video put me with a young woman or lady. Um, she was talking about how to use the pendulum to get your answers, your questions answered. So where I'm at, I'm at 10 minutes. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do that. Um, let me try that because I'm open to any, I'm open to everything. I've always had an open mind. I don't have a problem, like, really trying anything. I'll try almost, almost anything. So, I'm like, all right. So, I go on Amazon. I order me this whole kit with the crystals and the, um, and the pendulum. So, that was like, I want to say that was probably 2017. Yeah, 2017, going into 2018. When I really started getting into, like, altar work and really wanting to build an altar to the ancestors and that stuff started happening like after the accident so i went through some rough time um was out of work um me and my boyfriend at the time we out of work uh, we weren't really a, we weren't really established let's just say that we we weren't established as a friend so let's go back my friend at the time um was out of work too so times was a little rough so um yeah, it probably was, like, towards, because he didn't really start working until, like, almost the end of the year. So, yeah, that's when I started, like, collecting items, um, collecting for my altar, rolling into 2018, collecting stuff for my altar, work, trying to research and how to work with the pendulum. But it all started from grief. And, and typically, that's what they say. I, my spiritual advisor, in so many um, videos that I've come across and books that I've read, have talked about it always takes something significant to happen to you for, in my Baltimore accent coming up, <laughs> for your spiritual awakening. Um, and that was like the beginning for me. It was like I had a double dose. It was like, okay, it's death. And I still really wasn't getting it. So it was like, still wasn't getting a wake up call yet. And then it was like the accident. Boom. Motherfucking wake up call. Okay. It was like that. Let's take this shit a little bit more serious. Because this is the direction we want you to get in. But we need you to, we need to shake you up a bit because. I don't know. I guess I'll figure out, you know, one day why in the heck <laughs> I think the my ancestor spirit, God's higher self, source, my myself, it car, whatever, decided that I needed that double dose wake up like that. Um, his death, along with me almost losing my life in the accident, because everybody else was good. My side had the most damage. Um, but that was the serious wake up call and it pushed me into doing research. And I know a lot of people that's gonna watch this gonna be like I'ma just put it like this. My 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 ascension happened so fast. As soon as I acknowledge that I wanted to be on this spiritual path that I wanted to be an empath that or that I was an empath um that I wanted to um be a witch as they say in this in this day and age um once I decided that back in 2017 when I started calling myself a witch and a bruja and I started belonging to witch groups and doing rituals and really researching herbs and crystals and crystal healing and all of that stuff started in late 2017 I was work, working I ain't gonna say where I was working and um rolling into 2018 um still working um and so these um 
series of events had to happen for me to wake up. Because I, I am stubborn. I ain't gonna lie. I'm stubborn as a motherfucker. Um, and it take a lot to get me, like, if it's not right there, smack there in my face, it's hard for me to see. Um, I'm working on that, because <laughs> I'm still a little bit like that. Um, why well, I need somebody to, like, tell me, like, exactly what it is, and, like, that's what the fuck it is. So, anyway, five minutes. Um, <clears throat> um, from me getting in contact with, um, at the time, it was my sister-in-law, and she put me on with the witchy group. And I spent time with them and learned a lot, a lot. We did photo shoots. We just had a really good time. And I really liked the vibe that I was getting. And it pushed me further on down to my spiritual path. And I started noticing um, my YouTube searches was changing. Um, the music that I started to like was changing. Like, I started filtering out things that was, like, it just wasn't vibing with me no more. So, like, a lot of rap music I don't listen to. A lot of artists that sign major labels I don't listen to. Like, I started cutting out all of that and just trying to elevate, um, spiritually elevate, raise your vibration, however they want to say. I also um, did extensive research on crystals when I was at work. Like, I worked night shift a lot. So I was at work doing research on crystals and pendulum uses, playing with the pendulum. That was like the beginning, the very beginning, beginning was pendulums and crystals. That was the number first thing that I started with, pendulums and crystals. More so, um, I ain't going to say one more or the other. I think I was both doing it at the same time. Um, didn't notice, um, I, and I didn't notice like synchronicities or anything. I, I was still new with it. I didn't notice any of that. I remember, um, other females in the group would be talking about how they was having synchronicities and I'd be like, Oh my God, I don't never see these synchronicities. I don't ever see the numbers. This is 2018 at this point. I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see it. I want to be like y'all. I want to be like y'all. Cause they was, they were already more advanced than me. They were already, and I was just like coming in. Um, my sister-in-law at the time, she was like pretty much raised in um, spirituality, never believing in like religion and that per whole paradigm. So they were so like more advanced than me, and I'm just coming in, just sucking up so much energy and be, uh, so many different people, different personality, and because I'm. Um, I want to know everything. I, I research everything. It is. I'm a nerd. I'll just say that. <laughs> I, I, I've been accepted it, but uh, at 36, yeah, I'm. I'm still a nerd. I'm still gonna research everything. I want to fucking know. I don't give a fuck how long it take me. I don't care how many articles I got. Over anyway. So I did a lot of research on crystals, a lot of research on herbs, and what do this and what do that. I just really wanted to know about this part of spirituality that was new to me and it was way better than anything that I've ever known it made me feel good when I did my altar work and when I lit my candles and and talked to my ancestors those I know and don't know my grandmother my um my um baby father um at the you know on that past um I'm probably going to touch on that because that was a whole nother elevation. I'm already going to touch on that on the next video because I'm on the last minute and a half. But, um, so that was the beginning. The beginning was death, an almost death of myself. Death of a very, I was in love with this man. So very, death to a, a loved one, very close, very close, very close. Um, death to almost myself. And then I had my spiritual awakening leading me to the pendulum, to crystals, to herbs. That was the beginning. Research, 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 research. My YouTube search uh, history is full of awakening videos, a uh, meditation, all that that I used to just keep and download and keep to my phone and things that I was interested in when I wanted to research, when I wanted to know um, what book references, what articles. I saved so much stuff on my phone because I was just sucking up so much. It was new to me and I was excited. So I was like, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> Every time I learn something new, that's how I am. I can just soak it up, suck it up, soak it up, suck it up and keep learning, keep elevating, keep going to the next level. So, 
um, that was part one of my spiritual awakening, spiritual um, rise, um, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to stick with spiritual awakening because that's what everybody calls it. Um, I'm going to hit part two. I'm about to hit this tub and meditate. And um, I'm sending everyone who watches this video peace, love, and blessings. I love you all. And thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I do comment. I, <laughs> I do comment. If you comment, please show me love. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys.